and we're live. Age of mythology after this. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. Can we... So we, I think I've kind of, I think I might have picked up a new game in Age of Mythology. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna need to get practiced up because I'm still learning the very, very, very basics. Um, Chiz says he's going to stick his cock down my throat and make me cry again and again okay. is in all caps that's the best part yeah. which which really makes me not want to play with him so uh, Chiz hey, is good well, at you games. know there's a mode we can put on where alliance <laughs> he says, he's over here talking shit he says then whip your ass in speedrunners name a game that dude Chiz uh, is good at games you know who else dash. is good at games all right, <laughs> <America. laughs> Olympic Games. Uh, How's that, motherfucker? Jumping or swimming competition. Endurance. <laughs> um. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, Lefty's good <laughs> no at games. No physical too. activities. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got his stipulations. He's realistic. I'm trying to think of a game that so I, I know that I can beat me. Chiz in in a one v one situation. I think if you gave me time to get a little practice in Call of Duty Four, um, I, I, yeah, he, he even said it. Like as soon as I said it. Like, if you give me a little time to get practiced up on the stick, I, I, I think I've just got so much knowledge on that and just so much experience at it, I could probably get him. Um, I think I could get him in Civ as long as I had, like, maybe two days to prep because uh, uh, I would need to do a little strategizing because he's very, very good at that game. Um, Chiz is a natural gamer, but I do think I could take him in Age of Mythology and Age of Empires because I think I put more Chiz time in than him. Chiz is a natural gamer because he he's got he's got two two really two qualities that make up a good gamer. First of all, he's really smart. He's good at thinking things out and uh, and strategizing and just finding out how things work really quickly. He he puts the pieces together faster than most. And second of all, he's got a hand eye coordination uh, advantage over most people when it comes to gaming. He's just able to control his character more accurately uh, with more dexterity than the average person, and he does it time and time again. I'm not stroking your ego, asshole. I feel like I got, got, got a winning. Got, I've you got, got a, plenty of flaws. I'll, we'll have a roast next week. I've so, got a winning oh record God. against him in yes. Worms. Roast of Chiz, and he can't defend himself. Your hat <laughs> selection, your headwear selection, for one thing, that and that that ethnic look you've got about you. you know, I mean, Chiz is actually in this call. He could choose to, to like talk back, and he's literally yeah. just typing instead. Yeah. But um, but yeah, like games like Speedrunners and um, um, what's the one um, that that's blowing up and it's cross platform now. Rocket um, League, Rocket League, all that stuff. Um, Chiz just kills me and Woody. Um, he's just he he picks it up faster and he he hangs on to that lead despite practice. I have to work. I have to outwork him to beat him. Uh, if I do beat him, you know what, Chiz? <laughs> I bet I this is some. I'm only a couple of years older than you. So we both came up in the Pokemon era. Uh, I bet I could take you in Pokemon Blue or Pokemon Red if we both had to start at the same time, no cheats, and we only had a given amount of time to play. I bet I could take you. I bet it would be a bloodbath. Not even close. Oh, you played Ruby? I'm not that much older than you. Why the fuck didn't you play Red and Blue? Well, he's typing, so that's not a good question. Shouldn't have asked that. Right. <laughs> it was too <laughs> hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is too hard. You know why? Because it was made in 1996, and there were a lot of problems with that fucking game. Uh, yeah, no well, balance I, at all. Well, uh, I, I'm liking this Age of Mythology thing. Cause it's it's real time strategy versus turn based strategy, which I like in some regards, and I and I dislike in others because with turn based strategy, you're able to click 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 click. <sighs> All right, I'm going to wait for my turn to play. Now I can look at my phone, I can run and pee, I can fill up my drink. But in real-time strategy, I feel like if I take a minute away, then I've wasted a I, I wasted that time. I need to be ordering my empire around. I need to be scouting plus slamming my, my hotkeys and, and, building, and building shit and getting structures up and advancing uh, through ages and making sure that my workers are doing their thing. There's yeah. always something to do. If there's any downtime, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah, exactly. If uh, That's the hardest thing, I think, for people getting into that game is either as soon as they have enough resources to start making soldiers, they'll pump out like five of them and just let their ten villagers keep doing their thing, or they do what I struggled with, which is you get your economy like roaring, and then they attack, and you're like, well, fuck, it turns out there's nobody here to to kind of keep the peace. It's just a bunch of useless berry pickers. There's um, a balance you've got to find that it took me a very long time to find it in Civ 
I, I would I would always run into the situation where if I got attacked earlier early there would be no one to defend the castle and I never knew how many units to have and how early and to start building more but now I've learned you know every so many turns you add another and eventually you've got this many and then you start diversifying and and, and with Civ it took me fucking months to learn the the balance because the games are so long but with this I feel like we're learning I'm at least learning much more rapidly because Chiz and I played three games in a row, um, you know, this afternoon, and I don't know. We played for an hour, maybe twenty minute games. Yeah, yeah, they're not. But yeah, super, if you're out super there, um, we're gonna. It's gonna take me a while to to pick this thing up, and I've only played like a, a handful of games, so I'm not even. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but once we get good at it, I think uh, I'd like to play with some of you guys out there, some of the fans. So uh, it's Age of Empires, Dragon, something or another. Age bullshit. of Mythology, Tale of the Dragon. Thank it's you. Like Thirty four ninety nine on. Uh, on Steam, there's like 30 people of, playing it. <laughs> trying to think of games that might be better than Chiz at. The list is going to be small. Uh, Pong. <laughs> Didn't you do okay at that night uh, medieval game with the swords and shields? I did, but I'm not sure I did better than Chiz. I might actually be better than Chiz in Left 4 Dead, but I remember he wasn't awful either. Um, I haven't played Left 4 Dead in years. I don't know if I'm. Like, so Chiz was good at COD. I don't know if I could beat him in any of those. I'm. It, it's weird. I, I, I hate to say I'm not a gamer anymore, but something about picking up a game that requires a huge investment to be competent, isn't interesting to me. Like I, I've been playing. I actually play, probably twenty thirty minutes a day of that Agario game. Do you know it? Where you just mm-hmm. get the balls and you sort of get bigger and bigger. Something about that game is really interesting to me. Uh, but it takes five seconds to sort of learn, and that's that. Um, oh, Chiz wrote, I agree. If you're not playing with friends, things like Civ and Age of Empires wouldn't appeal to him. Yeah, somehow I just, like, like you could pitch the coolest game in the world, and if it takes 12 hours to be, like, to even just know the game, like, from beginning to end, uh, and, and I feel like Age of Empires takes more than that. I, I, you might have 12 hours in it, and I, I would guess that you're still learning the game yeah. yeah that's a big investment I, I can't see like i don't know i guess i did it with civ when civil when civilization revolution came out i it just interested me and i got into it and that kind of got me into civilization so when i got when civ 5 came around i was just i was sold immediately and i and i'll i bought that uh civilization beyond earth bullshit and i'll buy the next civ too the the actual the real sequel that's made by the same publisher i think um Civ Six comes out next year. Um, I like that game. I, I, I really do. It's the kind of game that I've always kind of fantasized about playing. This kind of devious plotting, planning your battle for hours kind of thing. The forces slowly move in, and you know, tricking people. I love like like I, I've had some victories where like they didn't know it was coming at all, and you're just like ah ha 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 yeah, I got you. You never saw it coming, and I'm just here. It is, and you know, I, I love that. I, I've you know, you'll send some weak army up the front, but really, you've got an enormous uh, army crossing an ocean that it, it's going to take them thirty turns, which is like two hours to even get there. <laughs> like two hours of real time. <laughs> two hours of real time. Can you imagine? But, I but can imagine. Let, let me stick with me here. Let me let me let me tell you about a scenario that really happened. I'm sending a faint army, which is just kind of to draw their forces away over over land, and it's a little bullshit army. But my other army is literally taking two hours of real time to go across the ocean to, to get around his flank. Now, if at any time he discovers my armies in the ocean, they're just in canoes, because it's like soldiers in canoes. They're not actual naval vessels. You don't There aren't transport ships in this mm-hmm. game. So they're incredibly weak to his navy or anything that he might bring over there and shoot me. So if he finds me, he'll just destroy me. It, it, I'll lose like that. So my heart's pounding as my as my troops for are like two hours, <laughs> not for two hours, for it, in the last five minutes, the last few minutes uh, when when I'm close to like getting everything landed, and I and I actually start the invasion, then my heart's pounding. Then I'm just like, yeah, I got him, I got him. It it, it all came to fruition. All my plans came together. I, I out I, I outsmarted him. I outplayed him, and uh, and I, I love that about Civ. The, the 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 losses, of course, are just crushing. You know the thing. So. Like, I've played games before where they mattered to me. Like, it was a thing. I really wanted to not lose. Civ is not one of them. Uh, with Civ, I just want to stop playing. Yeah, you just want it to be done. 
But mm-hmm. you haven't played in a long time, so you're on a good stretch. <laughs> it's, it's been better than ever. <laughs> Chiz said Civ is like Call of Duty 4 game battles, Tim. I don't know what that means. I like that Call of Duty 4 game battles. Yeah, no, Although see, it was really God, That's high. something I used see, to say Duty... about game battles. I, I started game battles in Modern Warfare 2. But, like, yeah, yeah it that. just, there was something on the line. I remember Kyle telling me, like, ah, oh, you don't want to play game battles. And, and he told a story of someone he knew that cried because that person made a mistake that cost them the match. And there's just, I don't know what's on the line, like, game battles ranking, so, but So it our matters. team was called Lethal Talent. We were ranked either 11th or 10th on the team ladder, the, the reg team ladder that year. Um so we didn't want to lose. Now, I was not the driving force that was carrying us to 11th or 10th place or whatever we were. It was Socrates and Impulse and um, me and maybe two other guys. Yeah, you were the so, fourth liner. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'd come in when, when you know, victory was, was more likely. Like, but, but, but they would play <laughs> against uh, they would play against Fear's team and um, Envious's team, like whatever their game battles teams were, and be competitive. Um, so... I lost my train of thought where I was going with all that. Game I was trying matters. to be braggadocious. I was talking about game, game battles. Game battles matter. Uh, Sometimes get stressed out and cry. Or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would be incredibly stressed out when, when I was there. It, it would be because we would play S&D 3v3 and you're the last man. And I know what to do. That's my game type. That's what I spent the most time playing. But it's still like, you know, I'm laying in my, in my hiding spot. I'm watching the bomb through a crack, through a hole, by a dumpster with a gun. And I'm just killing the defenders one by one as they come and I'm just praying that nobody hears my my silencer and knows that I'm way the fuck back here hiding because they'll come kill me and it's just it's scary because there's a lot on the line and they're watching you everybody's watching you in search and destroy uh you know your whole team your buddies they're counting on you um so you don't want to let them down it's not that they're judging you because I don't mind that it's that they're counting on you you don't want to let them down I realized that game battles wasn't for me I've only played two matches in game battles ever both were with Woody and T Mart. It was once that we played. And I, after hearing about game battles, I was just like, oh, so it's kind of like a little more competitive. You go and it's still fun, but you compete and you kind of get ranked. And I was like, that's neat. And so I got on there with T Mart and Woody. And Woody was, he certainly had more experience than me in game battles, but still wasn't like, this was five years ago, I bet. Uh, maybe six. And, but he was more experienced in game battles than me. Trevor had been doing it for a while. And like, 40 seconds into the domination game on Afghan or whatever fucking map it was, and Trevor's yelling, like, two topside, two topside, like one by the big rock in the fucking red cave or whatever the shit. And I was just like, this isn't fun. This is stupid. I hate this. I'm like, I, I feel like I'm actually failing when I die. I'm not good enough to be here. Like, it, I hated it. I hated everything about it. And it seemed like everybody in the lobby afterward, granted, my sample size is two different groups of people, but they were cunts. They were cunts, and I hated them, and they were very difficult to deal with. And it's like, I'm creating stress for myself that I don't need. I'm not going to go to a chess competition to try to have I, fun. I played that, so, oh, I, I played some. I remember there was one. It was Modern Warfare 2. I don't remember the map was called, but it was, it was like a construction zone. And uh, it was T-Mart and I. And we, um, uh, this, this is on my channel somewhere. I don't know if I could find it. But... Tmar and I both went like back to back super clutch plays to win at demo at the very end, and it's one of my better moments in gaming history. Uh, and that's what game battles does. The highs are higher, the lows are lower. So uh, the way that I found the game battles the matches that were the most fun for me were the two v two hardcore matches. The two v two hardcore ladder on World at War was hilarious me and uh impulse um who's it was another friend that played with he was he was on the same level as socrates i feel like just as good um I, i'll never forget that night that we were all playing with junkyard and trying to help junkyard get a nuke and uh impulse joined and he was like, he was like what are you guys doing and i was like well this guy's never got a nuke we're trying to like kind of help him get one and he gets a nuke that game just to like rub it in and leave <laughs> you know junkyard's on like kill 12 and it's like eight or 12 minutes into a domination game and he's like i can get there and and and, and I, I guess I'm, I, I was wrong no it wasn't that it was it, he got it just a few minutes in he got it real fast really fast yeah, 12 but kills it, that's like six junkyard quickies 
I'm going to chop this up. I got videos all month, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time to see if I get killed when I go around the corner. Yeah. He does. He, he does. It's like a reality <laughs> show. Last time on the quick. <laughs> it didn't go well. Um, but we would play this hardcore World, world at War uh, game battles uh, ladder. And if you remember, there were some really really big maps in World at War. Like, some gigantic ones. And I don't recall their names, but they they did a good job of not just making the map big, but there would be these these deep recesses of the map that were open for Simo. travel. You could walk back there, but nobody would ever go. And there'd be buildings to hide in and large fields of flowers. We'd get the first kill. You know, we'd throw our, pre, our preloaded grenades and pre-fire, and if we got that first lucky kill or two, got up by one, two, three kills, we would hide. We would hide. And I, I don't mean we would, like... Get in a, in a in a window and like look out the window. No, no, no. We would lie in the grass, <laughs> so the gra in the tall grass. You just lay there motionless. And if he walks by you, you don't kill him. You let him keep walking. That's the best part because then he's eliminated this area from his search pattern. <laughs> 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 and and people would get so angry. And and of course, that was the goal. We're trolling them, right? Because that we want them to dispute. Because I'm running a capture card. I have proof. Uh, and we knew a ref or two. We were going to get it straightened out anyway. But these people would lose their shit and call us scrubby dubbies and get all mad because we weren't playing the right way. And occasionally we would beat really good players who thought a lot of themselves and really get mad when you you know use a tactic like that to beat them. Did you tell did them this... you had your dazzle going? I, I had my I had my hop hog PBR rolling at that point. I'm sure oh, I had wow. them in beautiful 1080 uh, quality. That saved us. Uh, a few and no, times 720. Two. Yeah. It, like one. I, I remember we'd be flat out accused of cheating, you know, like this guy's cheating, that guy's cheating. And it's like, no, man. And, and like all of us are YouTubers, you know, we'd be like, look us up, you know, look at my channel. I've got other game battles things. You know, that I, I do this all the time and uh, they'd still be douches. They'd still be douches. They do. They dispute. They the I don't know if it's gotten any better or if it even still exists. But the game battles community at the time were just filled with awful people. Cheaters. It was because it was because of the lack of these things right here. Now that everybody's got a camera with video and, and, and pics, you can just be like, bam, there's my proof. I won the game. Back then, Chiz typed it earlier. You've got the digital camera up to your TV, and you better be quick because it only displays the scoreboard for, you know, mm -hmm. five seconds or something like that. I was usually responsible for that. Like, before I had a capture card, you know, can I get that picture real quick? And, and you know, if you for I remember every now and then I would forget. It was Chiz's job, too. Every now and then I'd forget, and I'd be like, don't dispute. Don't dispute, because I don't want to have to tell my partner or my team that like I didn't do my fucking you job. Didn't do the thing you needed to do. Yeah. 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 Because I'd be so I'd be like, yeah, we won, we won. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, oh shit, oh fucking, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> and and there, then it, you know, it's back to the loading screen. I had one where like, I didn't uh, record. Uh, yeah. I was supposed oh, to. Oh yeah. You know, and oh, they, they were telling us that they were gonna dispute, and I'm like, don't even bother, dude. I got my cap card. I'm Woody's gamer tag. I record the whole thing. Check my YouTube channel. You can see I record every game I play, and I'm lying because I fucked up the recording, and it worked. Yeah. Same bluffing, here. Bluffing. Yeah. Bluffing. Bluffing. Um, we've we've had we've called in refs before, and some of these refs <laughs> would be much younger than us, like kids. Hey, and, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'd be like. Well, I'm iffy as Kyle, and this guy is an asshole. And he'd be like, well, fuck him then. Dispute <laughs> overturned. <laughs> like, that happened a few times. I was just like, all right, all right then. I, he didn't even want to see the proof. He's like, how dare you do that to Kyle? So, I don't know. It, it, I had mixed uh, experiences on game battles. Very exciting, uh, fun wins, funny moments when we troll people. And then, of course, you know, crushing losses. If I can't remember any, any instances in particular but in those high stress games where it matters, um, if I underperformed in that, because I remember we used to do, we had a hardcore ladder team. We had multiple teams. Like I might have had three or four teams. I bet I got a bunch of GB points. Uh, if you look on there, um, I, I think I, I think I was ranked up pretty high at one point because we had so many teams. I had an Uno team. Uh, you know, just trying to get trying to get all the rank you could. Of course um, you did. Pretty, uh, we had a good rank. I played doubles Uno. Yeah. We were uh, we were like twelve and one, something like we that. Even we were about the... rank. Like we were, we were just trying to make videos. We wanted close games. Our our ideal game was not a win, it was a close game. You know, it, it, a close win would probably be the very ideal. But that's what we were going for. And uh, people would dispute when we won fair and square, and we wouldn't give a fuck because it wasn't what it was about. It was just about, I don't know. I guess getting good competitive matches for our channel. So yeah, we didn't do that. Yeah, I liked it though. It was a uh, that 
it was interesting. It was a, it was a cool concept. Do they still do it? I wonder if it's still as popular as it was then, or maybe more popular. I was in that kind of bubble where, to me, it was very popular because everybody I I knew was talking about it, and even in lobbies you'd hear it discussed and stuff. So, I don't know how big they are anymore. Yeah, I just feel like competitive cars. I don't I don't even know if that's. I, I'm sure it's still a thing. It's obviously still a thing. I just I I'm not sure if I left that world. Or if that world barely exists. Or if it still this doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because to me, Let's it's see. just not... A, I mean, remember Drama Alert used to be, like, focused on either COD girlfriends or, like, player switching teams, and now it's not on the radar. I just, you know, yeah. 